Well, new here at 5:30, a push to make breakfast or lunch free for public school students in Massachusetts is sparking some real conversations about how to make sure that school programs are accessible for everyone. And one school district in Worcester is doing just that in Worcester County. WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us how the students are benefiting. Be it in the classroom, be it on the field, be it in a school club, any barrier to learning has to be removed. A rally this week pushed for two bipartisan bills aimed at making school lunches free in Massachusetts. Some educators believe that's only the start. We need to do everything that we can to make the system completely accessible. In Uxbridge schools, students no longer pay user fees to get into a sport or a club. If you're going to put it on a college application, if you're going to put it on an application for employment as an experience that you had in school, we are responsible for that. Mike Baldessari is the Uxbridge superintendent and a former student athlete. I went to school in the city, and uh, wrestling was uh, it was a low cost. Had there been fees? The guys I wrestled with wouldn't wrestle if there was if there was user fees. If you take the fees down, you eliminate a big component of what could keep kids from applying. Debbie Stark is on the school committee. Last year, they spearheaded the change. Yet the district has received opposition. Some parents say they want the fees to ensure a better program. My response to that is it's our responsibility to provide a great program. And so I want my own children to have experience with as many different people as possible. Janice Olette has three kids in Uxbridge schools. My kids play field hockey, basketball, and track. And they also play tennis. And, you know, times three, it, um, it got to be very expensive. When it comes to money, some students may not feel comfortable asking their parents to play on a field like this. In inner city schools, you can't have user fees because if you did, you'd have no participation at all. Uxbridge does receive additional funding from the state, but Baldessari believes any district can budget for this. In Uxbridge, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.